Set. to Paris jump well, so did the offer and fame game being eased in the early part of the race. Away pretty quickly, who shot the barman? Sartorius Criterion, Max Dynamite not too far away, down towards the inside, they're quite prominent. Over towards the outside, Quest for More is riding forward, Big Orange maintaining his line, with excess knowledge on his outside, but they're both heading up towards the front running horses. It's quite a bunch field, not a tremendous amount of speed about in the early part. Fame game's gone right back, he has about four or five behind him in his outside El Moon quit. Quest for More had crossed down to the rails and he has the lead, but they're not going particularly hard. Quest for More being joined by Big Orange. Excess knowledge out wide on the course. He's pasted deep without any cover. Snow Sky Pink Cam is fourth. And they're following Criterion on the inside and Trip to Paris gets a nice run. A length and a half who shot the barman, Max Dynamite. And then Sky Hunter on the outside, about a length and a half further back in the field as Bondi Beach, Prince of Penzance and Grand Marshal. Uh, back behind those horses then is our Ivanhoe on the inside and then Hocko, Brave Red, Keto, Satorius, the offer. A battling for the back gust of wind on the inside. They're followed then by the United States and Fame Game and well back in the field is El Moon Quith. Hartnell the outside followed by Preferment and a length away is Kingfisher. He's at the tail end of the field. So they make their way along the riverside of the course now. And the field is being led by Big Orange now. He's out by two lengths. Excess Knowledge is second. Quest for More is third. Snow Sky is fourth. And Criterion getting a beautiful trail fifth. A length two trip to Paris. As they make their way by the 1600 metres next, Max Dynamite. Posted a little bit deep then. Sky Hunter followed by Who Shot the Barman, Prince of Penzance. Then came Grand Marshal. He'd be dead set middle of the field at the moment. Being followed, Bondi Beach out three wide, and then Al Ivanhoe being followed by Hocko Braverling. Further back is Red Cadeau. With him is the offer over on the outside as they make their way down the back of the course and about a length and a half further back in the field then is a gust of wind down on the inside. Uh, back behind those horses then is El Mooncrith as a fair way back in the field. Uh, Satoris was outside of Red Cadeau and they're followed now Fame Game. He'd be 20 lengths away from the leader. Uh, they're being followed then by Preferment at the end of the field. Kingfisher is still back last. Hartnell's about third last. Coming up the side of the course, they race before the home turn. Big Orange from Excess Knowledge. A length away then, Quest for More. Trip to Paris. He's working into it on the outside, and so is Snow Sky wide out. Then came Criterion trying to find a way through. Round the outside came Sky Hunter and Bondi Beach off the track is making ground two. Al Ivanhoe waiting for a run down on the inside as they bunch up around the turn. Now Fame Game, he's got to the extreme outside with the offer. Big Orange first for home from Excess Knowledge. Snow Sky joining in and now trip to Paris is coming. They're followed then by Who Shot the Barman going for a run on the inside as Al Ivanhoe. Coming past the 300 metres. Excess Knowledge went to the lead narrowly. Here's Prince of Penzance coming on down the outside. Prince of Penzance for Michelle Payne. Now Max Dynamite starts to charge home. Prince of Penzance from Max Dynamite. Prince of Penzance, it's history at Flemington, Michelle Payne. Prince of Penzance beat Max Dynamite. Criterion's run third then either trip to Paris, gust of wind or Big Orange, the next one's over just behind those horses the offer, and they're followed by excess knowledge, and back behind those then, in the field was fame game, didn't come on and they were trailed then by Al Ivanhoe uh, further back is Bondi Beach, Hartnell, Al Moonquith, Preferment, Kingfisher's well back with Hocko Brave Grand Marshal and Sky Hunter and the United States are towards the tail of the field. Michelle Payne has created history at Flemington, the first lady to win the Melbourne Cup. Prince of Penzance, that... number 19, has won the Melbourne Cup. Remarkable. What an incredible chapter has been written here in the history of the great race. Stevie Payne, the strapper, picked out number one at the barrier draw. Michelle's brother there. Darren Weir, the trainer, has been so close before. It is a magic moment. It has been a great year for women in sport around the world, and particularly in Australia, and this tops the lot.
She was the only female jockey in the race, and I can't believe she's actually done it. Simon, you mentioned it at the beginning of the day that to have her riding in the cup was a great achievement, even let alone winning it. So let's join Michelle Payne. She's with Sammy Harlan. Michelle, this is stuff you dream about as a kid, and you've spent your life in horse racing. What a moment. Unbelievable, Sam. I lied in bed last night, and I gave my chance a little time to think and dream about it. And I thought about it, imagine if I'm talking to you after this race. It's unbelievable. It's like a dream come true. This horse is awesome. What he's been through, his Darren Weir, unbelievable training to get him here like this today. All of his staff, Jared and Maddie and Tyson and all of them down at Warrnambool, this is all to them because they got this horse here in the best shape he could be in. And um, I'm just so grateful and thankful to them and all of the owners and this is just awesome. The fact that you've been on this horse for most of his career, you've had so much to do with him all the way through. Unbelievable, Sam. Um, when I won on this horse as a three-year-old, he won here and I thought this is a Melbourne Cup horse and he just felt like he would run the two mile out that strong but far out I didn't think he'd be that strong he was still towing me into the straight and when he let go Darren we said to count to 10 and I was trying to count but I didn't count I was just hoping that was long enough and he just burst to the front and he was powering through the line that is just unbelievable the connections with Sandy McGregor John Richards and all the fellow connections have stuck by you all the way and it's terrific that you can reward them with a Melbourne Cup absolutely Absolutely. Um, John Richards, I believe he's the man to thank for me sticking with his horse. He, he stuck up for me the whole way through. Sandy's been great, probably wasn't my biggest supporter to stay on the horse, but he's been so nice to me. And all of the other owners, some of them, this is their first horse. He was $50,000. John Foote picked him out at the sales. And Jeremy, Jeremy's Darren's racing manager. It's just unreal that we're here today and he won. And Stevie Payne, the hero of this story, drawing barrier one, and you're going to share this moment with him. That is just awesome. Stevie drawing one is probably the winning key to this. Don't know which barrier I would have picked, and he picked the right one. Um, coming down the straight the first time, he became, began a bit steady, and I had to give him a bit of a dig, which I didn't want to, to stir him up, but I had to to hold my spot where I wanted to be. I think Joe Marrero was a bit pissed off with me because he um, had to clip heels because was, he was trying to get to the fence and I was in there. And um, we travelled quite strong the whole way. He didn't really get to rest, but he, he was still in a rhythm. And from the thousand, everything just opened up. I got onto the back of um, Trip to Paris. He took me into the race. I was actually clipping his heels. I was going that good, but I didn't want to check him. And. Um, then he just got into the straight and he burst clear. It's unreal, Sam. Outstanding moment. Take it all in, Michelle. You've won the 2015 Melbourne Cup. Unbelievable. Thanks, Sam. Stevie Payne, you're the man of the moment. That's a great ride. A great win, Michelle. She needed it. Go just down. Good luck for both of them and all the, all the owners. And you and Michelle, the two youngest members of the Payne family, you live together. You drew the barrier one for her. Yeah. What a proud moment. That was a great moment. It's a great win and a great ride. 10 out of 10. And a great job by the strapper. Thank you. Stevie, congratulations. Thank you very You've much. You've got a Melbourne Cup. Yes. Finally got one on the hands.